and welcome to Fankari. You must have seen all kinds of trains. Underground trains, over the ground trains, slow speed trains or the high speed ones, even the maglev that uses magnets to levitate on the ground. But have you seen one that hangs in the air, especially one that has a glass floor? I for one had not seen it before this and I'm going to be showing you just that. What you see here is not a scene taken out of a sci-fi movie, it's actually the new SkyTrain that has come to Wuhan, China. As it is with plenty of the latest technological breakthroughs when it comes to trains, this is also another marvel that China has come up with. In a conventional train, you see tracks on the bottom end of the train and the train runs on these tracks. What's different about the SkyTrain is, instead of having rails at the bottom, it has them on the top which means that it hangs from the rails instead of running on them. What that translates into is, instead of having a plethora of structure holding the rails up under the train, you get a clean view of what's under the train, which is exactly what you want when you're that high in the air. The SkyTrain in its first phase covers 10.5 kilometers and has six stations. The station that we'll be taking the train from is called the Jiofang station, and it's the first station of the train. As soon as you enter the station, you see an automated ticketing kiosk where you can buy your tickets from. You have multiple options to choose from when buying the ticket, like a day pass, a single use pass, or a month pass, which is very useful for people who will be using this train for their daily commute. Once you've bought the ticket, you and your luggage pass through scanners where you can scan the ticket to enter as well. It also has a facial recognition system for people who frequently travel. Once you're through these, you could either take an elevator or an escalator to get to the train's platform. Here you will wait for the train to arrive, and while you wait for the train, you enjoy the contemporary architecture that the train station has. Here you can also see the rails that the trains run on and just look at how thick these are. And rightly so, because they have to carry the weight of not only the train, but also the people inside it. Once you're inside the train, you see that there are seats on both sides and space for people to stand as well, like it normally would in a subway. And we are off. As soon as the train leaves the station, you are greeted by a wonderful view of Wuhan skyline from a perspective that you normally would not be able to see the city in. You are able to appreciate the greenery and how huge the lakes of Wuhan are from this point of view. Not only that, you also notice how smooth the train is. It smoothly accelerates to a top speed of 60 km an hour and maintains it without any bumps or noises. One of the main attractions of the SkyTrain is the glass floor. When you don't have tracks running under the train, you've definitely got to have a glass floor. The glass floor gives you an excellent view of what's underneath you as you make your way through various landscapes of the city. As I continue my journey, I notice how, like me, everyone on board is enjoying this journey, adults and kids alike. It doesn't take long to reach the next station. I was enjoying the ride so much that I went all the way to the last station and then came back. So this was the new Wuhan SkyTrain. I had a wonderful experience and I hope you enjoyed as much as I did watching this video. It's, a, it's an excellent addition to the Wuhan skyline. It gives you a wonderful perspective of the city that you normally would not be able to see the city in. I'll be sharing more of such experiences with you in the coming weeks. So if you haven't subscribed to Fankari yet, please do so now so you can get all the latest from the channel.
Please also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I share all my updates over there as well. Until the next episode, ciao.